Our job this morning, which we're going to do in alternation, I'm going to speak for a little while, then Deb will speak, and then I'll come back again, is mainly to give you reasons to feel some hope. The other kind of optimism that I'm going to try to encourage, give you examples of and encourage you for in your uh, searches for communities is what I call conditional optimism. The idea that things could get better if everybody tries, if things go well, that, that, that there are ways in which progress could be made. We learned a lot from being in those different towns and have some perspectives to bring to you on what we found that the way people build a strong community. I want to talk about three of those different things. One is the public institutions in town. One is the public arts and the roles they play in the towns. And one is what we learned about, about you all, the next generation. Go out and join things. Be part of your community. Learn to find your voice there and to do what you can. Look for ways to engage whenever you can. And here is the simplest, upper, simplest illustration, which we found as a marker of communities where there is some spirit to them. If you're walking down the street and you see a piece of trash, pick it up. 